Theorem 1.25 Intermediate Value Theorem I will flash again the Intermediate Value Theorem. If f is continuous on the closed interval a, b, and z is a real number such that it is between f of a and f of b, then there is a real number c in the open interval a, b such that f of c is equal to capital Z. Which of the following statements is or are also true? If f is not continuous on the closed interval a, b, and z is a real number, such that it is between f of a and f of b, then there is no c in a, b such that f of c is equal to z. Is this true? If there is a small c in the open interval, such that f of c is equal to z, and z is between f of a and f of b, then f is continuous in the closed interval a, b. Is that true? And how about this? If there is no C in A, B such that F of Z is equal to Z, where, where capital Z is between F of A and F of B, then F is not continuous on the closed interval A, B. Theorem 1.25 is a theorem. It is, it is an established true proposition. So which of the following is also true? Statement A. Statement B or Statement C? Our theorem has this structure. If P, then Q. This is what you call a conditional statement or an implication statement. We call P as the antecedent and Q the consequent. You can look at this as cause and effect. If P is true, then it will produce a, a sure effect, and the sure effect is Q. So in our theorem, which is the antecedent? This is the antecedent. F is continuous on the closed interval, and Z is a real number such that capital Z is between F of A and F of B. That is your antecedent. That is P. What is the consequent? This is the consequent. There is a C in AB such that F of Z is equal to capital Z. So statements like this are what you call conditional statement or implication statement or if and then statement. You studied this in general mathematics. Now, if we are to look at these three statements, we have a name for this. This one, for example, is what you call the inverse of our original statement P implies Q. So this is how you write it. Not P, not continuous, then not Q. There is no C. The statement in letter B is what you call the converse. Q implies P. If there is a C, then F is continuous on the closed interval a, b. Statement letter C is what we call the contrapositive. It's the contrapositive of the statement P implies Q. Not Q, if there is no C in a, b, then our function is not continuous. So which of the three statements is equivalent to our statement P implies Q? It is the contrapositive. Statement C is equivalent to our statement P implies Q. If there is no C in A, B, such that F of C is equal to Z, and Z is between F of A and F of B, then F is not continuous on the closed interval A, B. Theorem 1.26 